Summertime, right, is normally filled with events like charity golf tournaments and 5Ks. They raise thousands of dollars for local community groups, but they can just not happen as normal right now. Our Jeff Rusak tonight shows us how some groups, though, are trying to adjust. Memorial Day is typically the start to summer and all summer has to offer. We all know this summer is going to be different, but nonprofits still plan on holding their events just differently, like Independent Health's Kids Run. And we thought, let's go virtual with it. And we're so glad that we did because we had such a positive response. 4,000 runners are already registered to run through their neighborhoods. Now, a virtual race, I understand, but a virtual golf tournament? How does that work? A two iron, she gave me a two iron. We're going to randomize people's strokes so that, um, you know, they get assigned a stroke for every hole. You know, every day there'll be a leaderboard put up, there'll be a winning foursome every day, and then there'll be an overall tournament winner. The Child Advocacy Center is busy educating about child abuse. If you suspect abuse, you know, tell someone and, and get it investigated. Every June, they host a golf tournament fundraiser. This year, it's a virtual one. This was just a little fun way of doing it. Both organizations lost sponsors this year. And many other sponsors have said to us, you know, we're going to not sponsor anything this year, any kind of event or any kind of gathering, because they're assuming that they're all going to, you know, not happen or take place. The Child Advocacy Center lost about half of their golf tournament sponsors. The Kids Run main sponsor, Wegmans, is still on board. Still time to join both events. The golf tournament is June 2nd through the 4th. The Kids Run is June 5th through the 7th. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.